Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Have a look at their harvest this morning. Hello Mary Lou. Hello. Bon Bon. Hello, Hello Aiden. Wilfredo, wow, well, you look happy. Have a look at all this guys, hey? So what they do, they're cleaning more down from the, uh, when the rain, when the rain comes down, it splatters dirt up from the ground, as you know. So um, they give them all a wipe down and um, they grade them all into um, first, second, third class. It's like, like Malaysia, when I lived in Malaysia, I was a third class citizen. So the, the Malay, Malays, Muslims were first class citizens. The Indians and Chinese were second class citizens. And all us other bastards were all third class citizens. So how's this, Wilfredo? Happy, mate? Happy, happy. God, look at that, hey. Now you've got to remember, he's the one who grows it all. One man operation. You see these other farmers who um, have a whole heap of staff and all this shit, no worry about weeds and whatever. Wilfredo does all this himself. Have a look at that. This one's the biggest one. I think very big. Very big. So they're happy as hell, guys. Look at that, eh? Wow. Incredible. I'll leave you at it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Aiden. He's a lovely little boy, isn't he? <laughs> Look at his eyes. It's always, always his eyes amaze me. Yeah. <laughs> See you later, guys. Well, there you go, guys. So keep you up to date with Wilfredo as well, how, how he goes with his farm, just so we can stick it to the other professional farmers. But as I say, one-man operation. Incredible. Seriously. A lot of people could learn. A lot of people can learn from the locals if they listen. If they listen to them, they can learn. Right, we're going to say shut down. Let's get back to my job.